So we have compared the more details and search bar functionality, right? So today we will work, we will be working on our category drop down. Okay, guys. So yeah, let's do it. Hmm. So here we made some hook, we will make some hook. We store the data of the category drop down so quickly uh, we will create the hooks over here so uh, yeah in component context previous year so there is one more folder And that hooks first hooks and hooks is created with the alpha. Uh, when you write the views before any uh, text, then it will create into the hooks. So you hooks is created with the help of use. Okay, so use category that is first hook use category.js. Okay, and here we import the some functionality like use state on use effect from it. <coughs> And after that, uh, we need the function like export default function. If you want, then you will need the arrow function as well. It's up to you. And I have created the function like this use category. And here I made the Categories from a set categories with state and that is by default in the area. categories first you will see then after that i will tell you what i want to do okay and here i make the catch block okay. So I hope you understand about this function, right? Here I made the function for the categories and in, in the categories we have 
get the data from the backend and we have set it set the all the categories in our categories with the help of set category function right and after that call the use effect over here call the our get categories function and also dependency is empty array and after that i will return the categories from here see i will return the categories from here okay guys so if you see uh, i have made the uh, constant uh, use state over here and that use state i have mentioned the categories inside the categories and after that i have written the categories over here so i made the a uh, single use uh, hooks for categories and this hooks we will use in entire project like everywhere we just simply import the categories and we can use in the header section in the product details in the home page we Everywhere we can use just uh, call the use, use category in the every component by the by the use, calling the use category hooks in the every component. So if you see, if you generally see like uh, we may, we have made the uh, common use category for all. Okay. Okay, guys. Hello. Yes. So, like as you see, uh, if you go to the home page, we have called this function for categories over here, right? So, we don't, if we want, then we can remove this function as well from here and we can simply call the category use category in from here to our home page and just only write the categories over here. And we don't need to write this function over here. If we call the categories over here, okay. So that's the uh, use of books in our project. That's why we created it. Then after that, we will go to the header section and create the problem for it. And after that, where we call our categories as well. So. Hmm. So we can call the categories with the help of if you if you don't want to make the use uh, use uh, category hooks, then you need to uh, call the function. You need uh, then you need to write the uh, every time when whenever the, uh, you want the category then you need to write the function every time. So, but uh, I made the separate function in the common in I made the common function in the hooks. So that's why we I will call only the categories over here with the help of use category hook. Okay. And here I don't need to uh, write the whole function. Like because I, I already wrote this in a use category book. Okay, guys. Just I call the categories with the help of use category over here. Yes. I sir. hope you you have cleared about it. Yes. So, yeah. And after that, go to the bootstrap bootstrap and where we. And then here we will go to the new bar and yeah, drop down is there so. Okay. So this line will copy from here. 
Okay, guys. And patient in place of category trouble. And what is the issue over here? Let us see. Use category dot JS. Return outside the function of okay. Oh. Okay. So we need to return inside the function. But here I return the outside to the function. That's why I see when it is. Yeah, this time it's make that result. Hmm. So we will copy this code. Down here, then go to the category drop down. Not in the home place, okay. Yeah, better section. Let's see. In case of this, we will call the category. And after that, we will put change it in a HTML to JSX. Loading. Let's get change, save. And if you go to the our project, you see the top down is appearing over here. Right? So, first you will do this thing in your code, and after that, I will create the category drop down. Okay, first you need to create the use books for use uh, category like this. And after that, you will go to the uh, board step. And from nearby, you need to copy this code like this drop down code. And, and after that, you will paste it over here. And after that, you need to uh, change it to the HTML to JSX. Okay, so do this quickly. And after that, tell me. Okay. Hello. Okay, yes, sir. That's why it's coming. Okay. Everyone has completed. Hello. Okay. 
So it's coming now. Lockdown is coming for everyone. That's all okay. And you have guys completed this uh, use use category books now. So we make this one here, and after that, change this anchor to new. Okay, and after that. So remove this and protect with the link as well. Save this. And here we will meet the categories dot map and see okay so save it. And the sub action we will show the category name for name and in place of drop down, we will write the queries. So we will go to the category is coming over here and. And this picture will match to twenty four H less. It is. And here, backtick slash, we will show the category according to it, single category. So, dollar, three dollar, plug, save it, the category is not done. Is correct written category is from there. And let me put the back page. Sir, in the back end, it is a data dot category, not categories. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm checking it. Hmm. It is data dot category, right? So 
that's why it's not coming. So we need to change this. Get out of get to green. And after that, I it will. But given this time, save this and after that. Wait a minute, I need to check up the function. Problem is in the header section. Let me check it. Let me cancel. No, it is plug your auto CLUG. No, it is not. No, no. Problem for this. But name is, name needs to show here, no? But the name is not appearing. We see it. Sir, the size of the categories array in our use category hook is coming out to be zero. Length of hmm? array. And I'm saying really? that the length of length of our array in use category mm -hmm. hook is coming out to be zero. Like I've console locked it, then it says it is zero. Size is zero. Let me console the categories. Then after that, let's see what is happening over there. Area of three is coming. If you see, right? You use category. Then when we refreshing the page, yeah. After refreshing, it's gone away. Right? After refreshing the page, it's gone away. Let me call the data of data of the category. Wait, guys, I need to fill it out. Okay, why is not there? Just come in. 
So wait, wait a minute. Uh, wait. So we just remove this. Uh, I told you now, if we write the curly message, then we need to write the return over there. So if we write this, hmm, all categories is coming over here, right? Good job, Prabhu. So thank you. So yeah, so quickly, uh, you guys have created this code. Like I have made the one change over here as well. Like I have created the one link for for all categories, and below this category, I have created the map, and where I have shown the all the categories name. Okay, guys. Hello. Yes, sir. And one, yes, sir. It's work. And one thing, if I write this curly braces over here, then we need to write the return. I think uh, this functionality. Uh, have you guys used? Anyone have used? Like we need to return the like this. In JavaScript, we use the curly braces. Then we need we need to write the return, right? Yes. But for parentheses, we don't need to it. So, yeah. Write this link as well. Like this link. Okay. Like for all categories. And change the path to categories. Okay. Hello. Are you guys listening or not? Like you need to add this all categories uh, link as well. Okay. So and also if you uh, click on the drop down, if you click on the certain category, then you will see slug is appearing over here and page. According to this slug, the page is also appearing here, showing here. So we need to uh, design this page. So after that, we will design this page. Okay. So quickly we need to complete this part. And after that, I will design that part. That one mistake will take, uh, I think, more than five minutes, right? Yes. No issue. So, I think we need to move forward, right? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So quickly we will open the pages and in pages we will give one more component that is category dot chairs. Category we have now category categories or chairs. Okay. And after that, we have seen where the message are now. Ready? Okay. And go to the app dot chairs and create the route for it as well. And with the product details, copy this code quickly. And paste it over here, and we need to 
So we will write the path for categories and we will import the category component over here. Please save it. Okay. And go to the categories page and for the layout for air quickly. And after that. Okay, and let's show you. We don't need to refer this. Yeah. And after that, we will point it to this one. For the categories with the help of use category one. Okay, and after that, class name with container, and in that container, we will create the one more day with class name go, and in that two, we will create the one more. Class and these were six. Okay. And here I will create the button, and that button will be you no know, this class. When this yeah, before this we have to it is dot minor C yeah. And we have this unit to have this code, and here we will show the C dot name. Okay. So, what is the case? If you click on all categories, you will see. All categories appearing over here, right? Like mobile collection, airports. Okay, if you click on all categories, the mobile collection, airport collection, and so all categories are showing here, right? So that's why we have created the all categories button over here. Like if you click on all categories, then all is showing over here. And if you click on separate categories, then page separate according to the separate category, the page is also showing over here. Okay, guys. So, yeah. yeah. All categories we will give the title to it as well. Like right? all categories. New title, first choice. Save this and go to the categories and you can see the all categories title is coming over here, right? So it's working. Now we will make the styling on button. So plus for the button that is button slash btn primary. 
save this. Yeah, this type of is coming over here. Mm -hmm. And the deep container, process container, and name is for six. Yeah. And after that, we need to give the class name to our link as well. Class name, ETN. And here we write text light. Okay. And here we can primary save it. If you go to the page, yeah, you see the category is showing like this. Okay. And after that. We need to and also we need, if you want then we need to remove this button as well we don't need to button over here save it and see hmm. uh, this is nice so After then we will give this some margin and padding over here. Margin top is five and margin bottom is three and we will give this some gap over as well. Gap from X is three. Y is three. Save this. Yeah. So this is final for or the categories, so you need to write this code as well. So first you will create the categories.js component in the pages, and after that you need to import it in app.js, and after that you will do this code. Okay guys, so quickly do this. Hello, are you doing or not? Doing so. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Okay. And also, I want to show the category and regarding this category, I want to show the product here as well. So, save it. So, if you click on the airbot collection, then the same page like. This is coming over here, right? You can see the uh, category information by clicking on this and also by clicking on this. So, <clears throat> completely, guys. Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. Fine. Also, we will give the PID to you. Let's see the ID. So, I hope you have completed hmm? for everyone. Hello. Hello. Hmm. So we want to show the, uh, if we click on the, see, if we click on the mobile collection, this is category now. So I want to see the uh, product as well regarding this category. So, for every category, there is two two products now. So we, we will if we click on the mobile collection, then mobile collection products uh, will show here. If we click on the airbus collection, then airbus collect products will show here. Okay. 
So according to the separate separate category, we will show the separate separate products. So quickly create the component for this, and after that we will create the backend for it as well. So yeah, close this. So we will create the one more component in the hooks now. We will create it in the pages as well. Not in the component, in the pages. So that is category product dot js. Okay. And after that, okay. Category product, and here I will create the one tape with class name container. Okay, and there is we will go to the app dot js. So we will get the data with the app of slug. So we will create the one more route below the categories. We will copy this dot from here. Paste it over here and what is the path? Let me see add up. Yeah, category slash slug. Okay. So hmm. category slash slug. And we need to import that category product here. Save it. And we will go through it. Yeah, the blank page is coming for the separate separate categories like we click on airports, then it is coming in according to it. So yeah, we need to wrap it in a layout quickly. Layout, save it. So if you click on airports, the airports is coming over here. Okay. Okay, guys. So we uh, get the slug over here. So according to slug, we will find the category. And if we find the category, then by the category, we will find the product as well. Yesterday, I told you when we uh, writing the product, similar product, right? How we will get the uh, product with the above category, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So First, you have to create this component. After that, I will move towards better. Quickly do this. Okay, guys. Created, guys. Let me move towards backend. Hmm. Come. Yes, sir. So. With the help of select, we can find the category, right? And once we find the category, with that category, we will find the product as well, right? And that product we will show here according to separate separate categories, right? So go to the hmm, backend side quickly and controller in the product controller, we will write the controller first. In that, I will write the route. So exports dot product category controller and after that a sync response response and after that try and catch Copy this code from here quickly and paste it over here. And I'm getting products. Save it. So we will get the slug with the help of params now. So find the category with the help of parents. Now select go to await. We need to import the category model here as well. Category.
Let me check the category component that is category model. Okay. So I'll copy this from here and paste it below this. Okay. Category model dot find one. I hope you have aware about the version of find one, right? What is the difference between find and find one? Right, guys? Yes. And slug is present in the request dot params dot slug. So we have successfully find the categories category. And with that of the category, we will find the product now. Product. Here we will find the category ID, right? With the add of slug. And this category ID, we will find the product. And after that, once we get find the product, then we need to populate the category as well. Okay. So await product new model dot find. And here we will find the all the products. That's why we write the find. Okay. So we will find the product with that category, right? So once we find the, all the products, then after that we need to populate the category as well because we want to show the data of category as well in our product page. So category. So yeah. After that we will send the response. And that response we will send the category and product both. Category. Um, save it. So our code have completed. Let me check it. Yeah, find one with that of slug. We will find the category and find with that of category. We will find the Products and after that we have populated the category well. Okay, it was same the category and product. Um, okay, fine. So we need to write the route for it as well, right? So put the product new route and below there have the category noise product and router dot get. First, we will write the path for it like product slash category, and after that, slug. And this slug we will send with the app of parents from front end, okay? To the category controller. Yeah, this one. So, quickly do this, and after that, we can move towards front end, okay? Okay, guys. Yes, sir. Hmm? I hope you understand about the code of product category controller. Hmm? Yes, sir. God. They are we finding the product according to separate separate category. Once you created, then tell me. So I think we need to write the front end part of it, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. I try to start the server again. It's working or not? Okay. Yes, sir. It's working. 
go to the product category, pretty product cell, and after that, first we will require the params for it, so on params, we will use the select. Use params, and after that, we will write the use state for the product as well. Product, common set, products, we just check initial leakage in pretty area and for category as well. First category set. Use state here. First, first we will add the first product by category. So it and I heard you will. Data. We can do it. Make start. Just dot get in slash product in slash product. Slash the check the route for it with a category. Okay. And write the category. Call it. Parents. Dot. Log. Save it and after that, you will set product insert data. You will set the data dot products and in the set category, you will set the data category. Okay. Anyway. So first we will design this text center and category dot And we need to call this function as well. So with that, we use table effect. <clears throat> so we call this function when we get this log. So call this that. To my category and also the dependency of params as well. Params dot slug. Save it. Now go to the 
here that's some change coming if we click on all category all category is coming if we click on show collection you see show collection is coming over there right so i'm audible to everyone now clearly hello yes sir yes sir and so you understand about the code like what i do here Hmm? Hello? Yes, sir. Fine. So, quickly did I the front end for it and after that, we will wrap up our class as well. So, hmm. it's center H1. We will wrap it in. We will wrap it in H1. H1. Wrap it in H1. H1. Save it and then we will give one more H1. Send to products dot land. Result um, So, hmm. so we just found for so test and collection so, and if you click on the mobile collection so we just found for the mobile collection as well so after we will show the products here as well so yeah after that we will change which one to h4 and this is h6 yes. See, now it's fine. <clears throat> no, okay. We need this category. And below this, we will show the get the one more get the class name. Okay. Hmm. And now uh, go to the home page. And copy this. This two. This two. Um, this two. And paste it over there. Save it. Let me check the what it will show. Navigate. Okay. So put the right comments. Then I get the figures. Then I get save it. See if you click on more products, it is then the it's working fine, right? If you click on all categories, yeah. If you click on mobile collection, the mobile collection is coming. And to just found if you click on shoes collection, shoes collection is coming. And if you click on more details, then more details is also coming over there. Right, guys. Hello. So yes, tomorrow we, we will work on the add to cart. Okay, that is this is our last for this project. Everything is completed in this project and Last of each add to cart and after this payment navigation part and after that our project get completed. Okay. So I hope you have like the categories top down part over here. Hmm? 
and you can style this page according to yourself as well like which syntax and which designing you want it's up to you okay guys okay so so complete this part quickly and after that we will wrap up the class this is coming with this center of it. And also, you if you want to, then you will the load more button here as well. Like uh, sometimes uh, there is there there will be the more than five products, more than six products. So we need to require the show the load more button here as well. So you can add the load more functionality over here. I think you you have uh, knew about it. Uh, how we will add the new load more button over here, right? Hmm? like the home page the same thing we just copy paste from here to here here okay guys okay. if you want then you can add this load more button as well so tomorrow we will see the Add to cart functionality, and after that, we will see the payment gateway, and and also after that, we will wrap our project. So I think from in this week we will complete our project. Completed, guys. So it's working. Good. Sir, uh, will you push this code to your GitHub and share the link? Okay, I will push it. Okay, sir, thank you. And give him my Push. So I'm going to stop the share now. Okay, and I'm going to stop the recording as well.